part two of masking and tips to try to not do that so much. Well, actually, my video got cut off, and so I said, yay, part two now. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, what I was, where I was at was that um, things that have helped me with unmasking is that I've been able to indulge more with people, either on the spectrum or not, but just friends that I really consider real friends that know me as who I really am. Um, we have a lot of deep analytical conversations, less small talk. Um, I still practice that and I still try to, um, you know, memorize basic things or whatever that I need to, you know, use out in the world and stuff. It, it's still good to know some of that stuff. It's just, there's a difference between knowing some of it and using some and just like completely changing yourself to use it all. I'm able to relate and connect in, to people in so many more ways and um, I'm loved by all the people that I surround myself with more now um, and they see my talents, they see, I mean yes, the, the sides that are probably not super great, but they see more about me that is real and um, authentic and um, I'm able to be in these communities, which has been really good for my mental health because whenever I'm just surrounded by people that I'm just, I'm trying to be like them or do what they do and do what they like, like I can't really express myself and it's, it's not selfish to want to be yourself. Um, I mean, it is if you're, you're constantly, you know, then putting it over everybody all the time, but for someone who did it for, you know, 20 years or whatever, um, it's helpful to have those people to relate with and connect with on a totally different level than you would with most. Um, I still have a really hard time not masking. Um, and it's hard when people have always seen you a certain way, um, upbeat, sociable, silly, uh, so when I go into social events or go to volunteer or whatever with teens and stuff like that, um, I feel like I use it not so that I'm being fake or not myself at all. It's just part of those things have become a part of who I am and it's still like a protection mechanism, like especially being around teens when that was like the worst times probably in my life um, in some ways. Um, it, it's just something that it's hard to completely like not do in certain social situations, but I'm still working on like being myself more and like just putting myself out there. Um, I'm also learning to say no to things, uh, even if it's last minute and I hate cutting like off things last minute and stuff like that, but I'm able to, if I know that like I'm overstimulated, I'm headed towards a meltdown, like I'm just not in a good place to keep on going and going and going, that's not going to be good for their side or mine. And it's actually better to be honest and just say that I can't do it. And that's okay. Like learning to accept that, like, I can't do things all the time and I'm not superwoman. Um, but I'm also learning to balance my energy, which is super important because I have a lot of it, but it can get drained out real fast and then I have nothing. Um, but it can deplete and then I just go into burnout or a meltdown or shutdown and just isolate or whatever else, which a lot of, you know, neurotypical people can do as well in ways. I just do it a lot more if I'm not keeping track of my energy, where I'm putting it out and, um, most likely I'm not going to get as much alone time and things that I need back in order to re-energize to not go towards that direction as much as I would like, but it's kind of like Mario and he's losing hearts and then, you know, you lose them all and you die. <laughs> you know, uh, dark, yes, but you know, you get the point. It's just, you, you have no more left. It's just gone and like you can't even fake being that person anymore. Um, but before I struggled also with like verbalizing like my needs, I thought, you know, if I needed something that that was weak or, um, you know, I just, I couldn't figure it out on my own or whatever, but now I'm working more on expressing my needs. I don't want 
to look down on myself at that, and I don't want to see myself as I'm just not, you know, good enough or whatever because I have these needs. It's that I need these, I need these needs. I have these needs so that I can be better and be uh, to function better and things like that uh, without having so many of the more tough sides of it coming through basically another thing is is and i've had to kind of work on this a little bit is that um i have like a little school that my daughter goes to a couple days a week and of course i wanted her to be able to go and be working on you know being with other kids and learning and stuff like that you know she's uh, almost four um but i actually need that time too and there's and I have to separate it on being able to do chores some days and being able to just relax the other day, not pushing myself too much, not doing way too much. Because those are the days where like I need to make myself do nothing. I'm always doing stuff. I'm always on the go. I need to stay and do just nothing um, and try to get that back. That way, whenever my kids are around, like I can be better or try to be better and I won't get overstimulated by them. Or the sounds or you know them running around the house and it's the crazy uh, you know just <laughs> the fun stuff about being a parent um but being an autistic parent can be quite difficult uh, especially when uh, your kids also um, have a lot of sensitivities and they do towards each other things like that and so i need to be able to re-energize and be stronger for them also struggling with health stuff which is another thing but it doesn't make me weaker because of that and it doesn't make me weak to be able to ask my husband for more help so um you know in different ways or to have a school or whatever it may be that doesn't make anything about me less i just have some of those special needs and they weren't met in a lot of ways growing up and now i know what they are and so you know you act you act on it figure it out you act on it <laughs> you know? um, but some ideas and tips and I've gotten a, a couple of different things from other people looking through their information and some stuff that I've already tried myself like going back to your childhood finding what you like and dislike um, I've tried to uh, narrow things down a little bit I've tried to um, dig into like trying things that I didn't maybe trying things that I didn't that I wanted to do like I you know played with Legos I love jigsaw puzzles I love computer games and I never quite got into a lot of that stuff I don't know it's considered like a, you know like you're not cool if you do this or whatever but I found that I love doing a lot of those things and um you know don't get caught up in like oh I didn't try this all this time like I got this drum set over here and like I still haven't tried it yet to use it yet but I've wanted to do drums my entire life I got as far as being gifted a drum set I'm going to learn how to play the drum set <laughs> but just whatever whatever it is it doesn't have to be like a big giant career or anything like that just something and just making the steps to practice it or learn it or whatever um, and then figuring out like the needs that you have, whether that's brighter clothes or darker clothes or less itchy clothes or comfortable undergarments <laughs> or whatever. Woo! Um, and like whether you need more alone time, because I require a lot of alone time. I need so much more alone time than I thought. I need so much not so much less social activity. All the things that I surround myself so much with is actually what I need way less of. And now I'm just having a hard time wanting to socialize <laughs> at all. <laughs> but, um, and then start, and then just don't do what I did. Like, don't do it so quick. Don't just take everything off. Here I am. Hello. You know, like, like Jim Carrey and pet animal detective. <laughs> um, and also just like there's going to be times where people are not going to understand it or they're they don't know what you're going through and even when you start telling whoever you feel comfortable with about it like not having expectations for them either like they may have expectations of who they thought you were but you have expectations that 
I mean, I know me, I don't know necessarily always the intentions of someone else. I think that's, you know, just one of the things that some of us can struggle with. And so I think that they're just supposed to understand, like they're just supposed to get it and they'll, you know, they can figure it out and here's all this information. And I think that they're just supposed to get it all, even though I've researched this for like a year and a half, two straight, whatever. Um, And they need time and so do we and so just but but still love who you are even if people don't accept it like don't accept you as being autistic um don't accept some of the things you do like don't like what you like or whatever it is but just still enjoy the person that you're starting to become when you take off that mask and while it may not be an easy process it was so worth it to me because i have been able to like bring out those childlike things again i feel like i missed a lot of that and now i'm just having like so much more fun like dressing up and doing things and like all this and i just don't have to worry about what everybody else thinks about it i can just i guess get made fun of when it comes to that or whatever but I'm still going to love that person and I'm still going to be moving on like in my own life, creating my own success or what God sees that, you know, as success is good for him, you know, and not for people. Um, So anyways, on that note, I hope that these tips help, and I know that these two videos together are long, but hey, now they're separated. (laughs) It's really hard to do a video about your past and then also trying to do this all together and it be super short, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming to my channel and just um, being a part of me telling my story. Thank you, and I will see you guys later.